Have you ever wanted to play GTA 5 on the go? Well, I personally have. And in today's video, we're going to talk about the possibility of Grand Theft Auto 5 releasing on the Nintendo Switch. Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome to Grand Theft Central. My name is Wes, and today we've got quite an interesting topic to discuss. We're going to talk about the possibility of Grand Theft Auto 5, as well as future Rockstar releases, playing on the Nintendo Switch. So if you guys remember right, Grand Theft Auto 5 released on the Xbox 360 and PS3. Looking at Grand Theft Auto 5, in its current state you're probably thinking to yourself there's no way the nintendo switch would be able to play gta 5 but if you actually break down the specs of the xbox 360 and ps3 versus the nintendo switch the nintendo switch is more powerful than those consoles now sure the memory aspect is going to be kind of an issue but the nintendo switch has memory cards that can go up to two terabytes of memory so it's kind of a non-issue whenever you look at it but let's break down the specs of the xbox 360. so the xbox 360 had a 3.2 gigahertz tri core power pc cpu it had 51.2 g flops as well as 512 megabytes of ddr3 memory and if we compare that with the nintendo switch that featured a quad core cortex a57 nvidia tegra apu it had 1.024 teraflops 4 gigabytes of LP DDR4 memory, 1 gigabytes of OS memory, and 32 gigabytes of SSD. So comparing both systems, the Nintendo Switch is pretty powerful. In a game that's been on Xbox 360 and PS3, you would think would have no issues releasing on the Nintendo Switch. I mean, just look at the current games that are on the Nintendo Switch right now. The Witcher 3 The Wild Hunt plays on the Nintendo Switch. Yeah, sure, it doesn't look the best compared to PC, but it does play pretty well and you get the full Witcher experience. Even games like Doom Eternal, Skyrim, The Outer Worlds, worlds in a bunch more all i'm saying is if rockstar takes the xbox 360 or the ps3 version of gta 5 and ports it into a definitive edition it would be absolutely game changing as of right now grand theft auto 5 has 140 million copies sold and i can guarantee you one thing if it releases on the nintendo switch over half of the current customers of the switch will easily buy gta 5 on the switch especially if it comes with the online capabilities in my opinion nintendo needs to send truckloads to Rockstar to get GTA 5 as well as Red Dead Redemption 2. It would benefit Nintendo greatly. I truly believe that that is Nintendo's biggest hurdle of 2021 in the future is their third-party releases. So if they can snag games from Rockstar, that would be extremely beneficial for them. And on the other side, you have Rockstar that could pick up potentially 80 million more customers and continuing to have repeat buyers like myself. I picked up GTA 5 on PS3 and Xbox 360 whenever it first came out, and then I bought it on Xbox One and PS4, and I bought it again on PC, and I'm ready and willing to buy it again on the Nintendo Switch. Now that leaves us with the next question. What is GTA 5 going to look like on the Nintendo Switch if it does release? And will it look anything like the remastered version that we're going to get on the PS5 and Xbox Series X? Likely not the case, but what I will say is it will most likely play at 720p at 30fps when in handheld mode, and then at 900p or even 1080p when docked. Do I think we'll get frame rates above 30fps? That's likely not the case because it is the Nintendo Switch and it is a handheld hybrid console, but that does leave us the next big question. With the rumored Nintendo Switch Pro console coming out sometime this fiscal year, there is a strong possibility that that could be their best time frame to roll out Rockstar games on the Nintendo Switch. If they have an updated Nintendo Switch Dock Pro that can do up to 4K UHD games, then that could be a huge benefit for the Nintendo Switch. Now, sure, it's not like GTA 5 could play at 4K on the Switch, but what it could do is the Switch Pro could give them the possibility of increasing the resolution just a little bit. If I could get 1080p at 30fps for GTA 5 on the Switch in docked mode, that would be insane. But for now, I would just look forward to 720p at 30fps with the possible 900p option when docked. Now the next question is potential release timing for GTA 5 on the Nintendo Switch. As we know, in the second half of 2021, they're going to be releasing a port for the enhanced versions of GTA 5 for Xbox Series X and the PlayStation 5. So they're already working on ports for both of the next generation consoles. It would make the most sense for them to release every single port at the same time. And while they're at it, they should go ahead and give us GTA 4 on the Switch as well, because that would just be a beautiful game to play on that system. The next big question regarding this topic is when could we get it announced? 
As we know, Nintendo hasn't done a full General Direct in quite some time, so I think the next General Direct could potentially showcase an announcement for GTA 5 on the Switch. My current predictions for the next big General Direct is going to be sometime in June, or usually when E3 happens for the Switch. Now, it could be that Rockstar does what Rockstar does and Nintendo does what they do and hot drop the announcement sometime randomly. Both Nintendo and Rockstar are absolute legends in terms of hot dropping content. So I could easily see them hot drop this game with an announcement and a trailer that showcases a release date that's a couple months later. But if I were to guess a general release date, I would say that you're looking at probably holiday season of 2021 that we would get GTA 5 on the Nintendo Switch. One thing is for certain though, guys, if we get GTA 5 on the Nintendo Switch, then that gives our possibility of GTA 6 on the Switch even higher. But guys, let me know what your thoughts are. Do you think we're going to get GTA 5 on the Switch? Let us know in the comment section. As always, guys, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, go follow Grand Theft Central on Twitter, as well as Facebook. The links are in the description. Thank you guys all once again for watching. This has been Wes, and I will talk to you on the next video.